We've been at Good Shepherd since Sam was 14 weeks when we were looking for a place to put Sam when I was um, going back to work. We interviewed and looked around at quite a few places and when we came to Good Shepherd it was the only place that I felt safe and secure leaving my child. I felt when I walked away I said, wow, I can leave my kid there and go to work and be happy. And then when I decided to be a stay-at-home mom, I felt like the curriculum and the academic part of the preschool here was so strong and the bonds that Sam had formed with both the kids and the teachers here was so strong that I didn't want to pull him out. I wanted to keep him here where he was so happy. One of the reasons why I have put so much of myself into Good Shepherd is that I found that there were wonderful half-day preschool programs out there based in a Christian environment, probably in a church, and there was uh, corporate daycare out there that was full day daycare and what I wanted to do is bring those two worlds together and I think at Good Shepherd we've accomplished that. I'm here because I completely believe deeply in my heart and soul that this is the best place for kids. We have an incredible staff, the administration is awesome, the teachers here are intelligent, they are well trained, we've got degrees which is wonderful and not common in a preschool. One of the things that we do offer children who are um, age two through five is that we have romp and roll come in. Um, they come right into the classroom uh, and they bring their materials with them. The teachers participate in 45 minutes of music and movement. So when they enter this room in September, again, they're two and a half, typically they're older two and a half, so we're a couple of months away from three. We are still very heavily social emotional. We're doing a lot of sharing practice, taking turns practice, learning to be kind to each other. Um, everybody here wants these kids to succeed. That's why I'm here. The other things that happen at three years old, their attention spans are a little bit longer than they were when they were two. And so in a three-year-old room, you might find the teacher not only having large group activities, but small group activities where they might be playing a game that's going to help them with their counting skills. And although they're having fun, there's a lot of learning that's going on in the classroom. A big, big yard where we can play football. A big, big house. Those children also attend chapel once a week. And whereas where there were infants and toddlers were singing Christian songs, we were reading some Christian books in the classroom, they actually have the opportunity to go to chapel. Um, I'm actually a minister at a different church, but this provided a place for us to come. So uh, having a faith-based place that we can send our children and know that uh, they're being uh, brought up in a, a loving Christian atmosphere is also important. The first thing I would look at is the kids. That's where I would look. Are they happy? Are they involved? And I, I believe that if you walk into these classrooms, that's what you're going to find. Awesome. Yeah.